Nets. Nate, who do you got? Yeah, look, Wendy, I'm looking at the back row. The Helu, Heaton and Deacon for Atlanta are the guys that we need to watch. They're, they're in task with slowing the ball down. Chicago's going to try and play fast. In the back, you've got Kirk Coleman coming back. And then you've got the ever-dangerous, outstanding Biddle at the back who can cause havoc from anywhere. Yeah, you're looking at Phil Teal and Connor Cook coming out of retirement to help this side out. And they're great players. And then you've got uh, Van Skolkwick, who's been starting at 10 and 9, so he can come on and do some stuff. And then the man with the best name in MLR rugby, Harley Davidson, coached by Stevie Brett. And now the Chicago lineup presented by Illinois Bone and Joint Institute. Nate, who are you looking at here? Yeah, I'm looking at the second rows. Dobson and Cullen. They, they're going to be a task with helping the line out and the, and the scrum. That's a set piece they need to be working hard today. And then you've got Luke White, who's starting at eight, and it was outstanding last week at eight. In the back, so I'm looking at the back three. Dominguez, Leuta, and Matina. Always dangerous. So if they've got an opportunity to run from everywhere, they will, these guys. I like the, the bench for them today. They've got Thornton and Abel, who have been starting. And then you've got Basket, Campbell, and Eloff that can come off the bench as well. So they should be able to finish. And they're going to get the ad early advantage. And that one just dribbling through. So we'll see that penalty come. And this one looks like it'll sail through the uprights. The flags go up. He goes into contact. Now Cardi going to put up another kick, seeing lots of kicks in this first half. Beautiful move there by the man we were just talking about. It's Biddle again, offloading to the outside. Jack Shaw touching down for Atlanta. Look at this from the back. Oh, mate, he just, just the footwork and the pace is it, just so hard to stop. And that's a great. And again, no, the, the depth of Atlanta. You got uh, Duncan Van Schoten, who's. Uh, Great player and started for them at 110 for years and uh, to come on and you know you're not losing as that much with Doug on there compared to um, Cook. And this mall moving now. You can see Cook is in the middle there. Let's see if he can touch this down. And tell me being very active there. Finally the whistle comes. What is and they've been struggling a lot over. That's a great take and really set early and they're not pushing too early. They're... Atlanta's a hard team to score against. And, and this is a really great try, great work. You can see Sydney Shoop gets in there and pushes as well, just to add a little bit more weight, and they were able to get over. Better for them in this last couple of minutes as they've scored off of it already before. There's Talapusi again out to Biddle. Always one to run. Beats the first. Now he gets the offload to the try score. Jack Saw, who sees a little bit of space on the outside. White Tokia beating them now. See, you can see those spaces. The kick chase wasn't great, and then this guy, Jack Shaw, quick, and again at pace, being able to get that ball on the money. That's, that's a hard skill to do. Um, yeah, and then just turn the time. That was Dodson. Back to Meeks. Now Cook, getting closer. They're so close. They're knocking on the door, picking again from the base. Content to let the forwards do the hard yards here. Now Shoop going to go to the short side. He sees a little gap himself. He's short. It's coming. Big defense from the green needed. But the Hounds are going to drive this just short again. One more try. And this one is on the line. And that counts in the game of rugby. And there were so many of the ones that were just pick and go, pick and go. Uh, must have been something they've noticed in the in the game plan and, and looking around the ruck at the... We do have our replacement scrum half in for Atlanta. Yeah, come back. And we'll come back for that penalty. And drills it just right down the middle. Everywhere are the hounds. Shoop will put this one up. Big rugby collision there. Pick out of the centers. It's Will Leonard, one of our head to head to see as well. I'll try. It's going to be penalty for Greek. Okay. Yeah, and I think Good. you could. John Thank Culler you. probably thought this was a knock on, which is why he went with a long pass. That's not usually a thing that you see. It's picked up by Julian Dominguez. He offloads. Now it's in Matina's hands. He's got some speed. And he's got DeWall on the outside. Back. Trying to get it back into Matina's hands. Yeah. 
driving this one in the mall. Now it's moving. Vickis Navald at the back. Saunders content to let them roll on as long as they can. Still going. The crowd just screaming for the home team. Saunders now looking like he may take it. No, it stays with Hevenal. And they're getting even closer inside the five now. Rolling it to the right. Lots of bodies across the line, but it doesn't matter until he goes under the post for the penalty try. Yeah, look at Phil Teal's coming to field. The, uh, the one old veteran just sitting in the back there with the ball and driving him forward. And you can see once it Blue on the pitch. Also joined Chicago April 15th, seeing a bit of space out here. The Hounds putting this one into touch. But Atlanta taking home the win 27 to 12 over the Hounds. 